Hi, my name is Tori Gruchin and I am with the University of Waterloo and my research has to do with phosphorus speciation dynamics in reservoirs. Eutrophication has been caused by excess nutrient runoff and ever since the 1970s, policies have been put in place to decrease this phosphorus loading to Lake Erie and local reservoirs. Reservoirs are especially important because they act as hotspots for nutrient um, accumulation. Despite the decreases in phosphorus, um, these water bodies have continued to experience a reemergence of algal blooms, and it is argued that this is because of soluble reactive phosphorus, SRP, which is the bioavailable portion of phosphorus. So with this in mind, my research questions are one, how, does, how do reservoirs alter the bioavailability of phosphorus? And um, are there seasonal or decadal trends? And two, can we use a model to simulate these trends? So the area that I studied was Bellwood Lake. It is located in the Grand River watershed and it is deep enough that it can stratify in the summer months. Bellwood Lake has seen an increase in SRP to TP ratio in the last 10 years by approximately 30%. Um, and the next question is, how, does the how is the phosphorus being changed seasonally? So here I found that in April during spring runoff, the inlet loading was greater than the outlet loading, meaning that the reservoir was a sink for SRP. From May to October, the outlet was greater than inlet, meaning that the reservoir acted as a source of SRP. Um, looking at the magnification of SRP to TP ratio from the outlet compared to the inlet, um, I found that the, the SRP TP ratio was doubled in the summer months. So next was the model creation and I created a model using this mass balance schematic to simulate the pool sizes of four species of phosphorus including SRP. Um, what I found with this model was a pretty good fit for SRP and TP at the outlet of the re reservoir with a Nash Sutcliffe efficiency of 0.8. Um, in the future, this model can be used to look at the impact on reservoirs that changes in climate change or reservoir management may have. So in summary, we found that Bellwood Lake doubled the SRP TP ratio from inlet to outlet in the summer months, and that the SRP TP ratio has increased by approximately 30% over the last 10 years. So, what these two mean is that, or what they suggest is that the SRP is being remobilized from previously deposited phosphorus in the sediments and is triggering algal blooms. Thank you.